Hey everybody, this is Joshua with the Tendonitis Expert. And this video is about what exactly causes Leviquin side effects. Yeah, you know you took Leviquin and you got side effects, but that doesn't really answer the question. You want to know what is causing the side effects, because that gives you some access to doing something about them. So essentially there are three general levels of severity or mechanism to Leviquin. And we'll talk about each of those levels because that will give you some insight into the side effects. And there are two general categories of side effects. And those two general categories are physical and mental. So physical side effects look like tendon pain, tendon rupture, muscle pain, cramp, spasm, twitch, bone pain, loss of dexterity, fatigue, weakness, etc. Mental side effects are flavors of anxiety like anxiety, mild or severe, claustrophobia, brain fog, dementia, loss of memory, etc. So the side effects look different, but the causes are the same. And that is kind of an important fact to understand because when you see doctors, etc., they will look at the specific symptoms, but they don't really ask what is the underlying cause. And they don't, unfortunately, they don't understand the Leviquin mechanism or how it interacts with the body, which is a whole other conversation. So let's talk about the three general levels. So there's three general levels of effect, whether that's levels of impact or damage or levels of mechanism or interaction. I'm not sure what the right term is, but essentially people fall into one or more of these three categories when they get side effects. Massive nutritional depletion, the next level is damage to mitochondrial population that for some reason focuses on connective tissue. And at the far end of the damage spectrum or side effects spectrum is DNA damage. So let's talk about massive nutritional depletion. So essentially, part of the mechanism of Leviquin and the fluoroquinolone class of antibiotics is it depletes nutrition and very specific nutrition. And Obviously, imagine your body function. If you need this much nutrition to function optimally, and suddenly you're at this amount of nutrition, which is lower, then you can imagine your body's not going to work very well. So it's very common for people to take Leviquin, and within, well, either immediately or within a day or two or three, they notice significant symptoms. And part of that is because, again, imagine this is your bucket, your nutrition should be full, you live in the United States, so chances are your nutrition is low in the first place. All of a sudden you take Leviquin or some other fluoroquinolone and the bucket gets dumped. So now you're operating with an almost empty bucket. And you can imagine that your body isn't going to work very well if it doesn't have the core little tidbits it needs to function. So that explains immediate side effects and that explains why symptoms and side effects last for months, years, decades is because you're not trying to heal something, although you might need healing of a tendon or something, but you literally can't heal. You can't recover because you don't have the building blocks necessary for your body to do what it needs to do. So that is one of the main causes of side effects is nutritional depletion. And until you replete that nutrition, your body's going to have a hard time recovering. The second level of side effect or damage is damage to mitochondrial population. Mitochondria is the power plant of the cell. So imagine you have a tendon and you have millions and millions and millions of cells in here, each of those powered by mitochondria. If the, if Leviquin comes through and wipes out some mitochondria, then the mitochondria dies, the cells they power die, and that is how you can get partial damage or complete rupture to a tendon because the cells themselves die and you lose structural integrity. So that is one cause of various side effects, side effects including tendon rupture, is the mitochondria population gets killed off to some degree, and to whatever degree that is, you can have tendon damage, joint tissue damage, cartilage damage, etc. And that includes damage, sorry, that includes connective tissue around organs and brain and nervous system. So that helps explain some nervous system side effects as well, or mental side effects as well. But massive nutritional depletion can cause physical and mental symptoms. Damage to mitochondria population can cause physical side effects 
or mental side effects. The third level is DNA damage. So everything's on a bell curve, let's say, and most people fall within here. These people kind of get better within a year without doing anything in particular. These people don't and aren't going to for the most part unless they do something about it. And at the far end, you're going to have all the side effects here, and but also you have DNA damage. And that's where a lot of the last, some of the lasting damage comes into play, specifically uh, joint damage and tendon damage that just won't heal, won't recover, decades of severe tendon pain, etc. So why might that be? So if this is your tendon, and let's just say that each cell, you have millions and millions and millions and millions of cells, and this is your cell, and somewhere in here there's some DNA, and that DNA gets damaged such that now it looks like that. That's terrible. So here's your, I'm just making this up. So this is, oh, that's terrible. Okay, so this is what normal DNA should look like, let's just say. That's a healthy DNA, that's what you're born with, that's what you have. And let's just say that when Levaquin targets the connective tissue for whatever reason, now the DNA looks like that. And again, I'm just making up a shape. There's no significance to that other than your DNA has changed. And now, if you're trying to heal some damage to a tendon and your DNA, your cells are trying to replace themselves, now the cells are growing in wrong. They're growing in damage. They're growing in not correct because this DNA is controlling their growth and not your normal DNA. So that's why even when tendons heal, even if you get surgery to cut some chunks out, which may or may not be a good idea depending on your scenario, that's why the healing doesn't seem like it's doing very well or isn't correct, isn't correct. And you get ongoing damage, you get ongoing pain. It's because your DNA isn't healing your tendon properly. So that's one cause of side effects like tendon pain, tendon damage, is that the DNA is damaged. And again, most people suffer from the massive nutritional depletion with the growing number of those being the mitochondrial population and a small number of the people that are worse affected have the DNA damage. So those are three main causes of side effects or explanations of side effects of Levaquin. If you'd like to know more about Levaquin side effects, then visit my website, tenniceexpert.com, and visit the appropriate page. And if you want to do something about your Levaquin tinnitus symptoms or any other fluoroquinolones, Cipro, Avalox, etc., Carrie and I have put together a program that talks a little bit about why you hurt so you can understand the function, but more so talks about what to do about it. Because really that's what we want. We want to get out of pain. We want our body to get functioning correctly again. And the fluoroquinolone toxicity solution has a plan to do that. So that is available for you as well. So again, if you'd like to find out more about Levaquin side effects, visit the website, tendonitisexpert.com, and find the appropriate page.